I uh, started jogging. Mentioned that to a friend of mine who does it a lot, and he was like, oh, you need to shave your legs so you go faster. <laughs> this guy has a beard. <laughs> but I was like, no, I don't need to shave, you know, I'm fine with my resistance workout. <laughs> but he was persistent, he was like, no man, listen, I had been riding my bike to work for years, and I started shaving my legs every day, cut two minutes off the commute. It's like, but how long does it take you to shave? You know, you can shave your legs faster if your arms are shaved. <laughs> Read this article online, it had all these amazing facts about the human body, and one of them said that the average human being's skin, our skin is so sensitive, we can feel the weight of a bee's wing. That's one ten thousandth of an ounce. If that's true, I'm below average. I've gone an entire day without realizing I had another pair of my underwear in my pant leg. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was looking at a map of the United States, and I know that we were colonized from east to west right to left, but it looks like it was the other way around. It looks like the founding fathers approached some guy and they had like an outline of the future country on a piece of paper and they gave him that in a pen and said, listen, we need you to divide this into 50 sections. Start on the left side. And he was like, oh yeah, there is plenty of room. <laughs> If you don't get that, you shouldn't be allowed to vote. <laughs> I live in uh, Burbank, California. I have a landline telephone, came with the tiny house that I rent. And uh, I was talking to my neighbor in our front yards. This guy's nosy. Some of us have that neighbor. He very casually threw this into the conversation. He was like, hey, Kellen, the other day I picked up part of a conversation from your cordless phone through my baby monitor. Yeah, that's, that's a real thing, I didn't know. I also didn't know how to respond. <laughs> He's just smiling like a weirdo. So I said, actually, I don't have a cordless phone. Oh, but occasionally, I do stand in your baby's room and talk to him. <laughs> that's probably what that was, anything else? No, okay. No, I'm not a creep. I have two kids. I want to have three. That's the perfect number, right? You can finally be on the family feud. <laughs> but also with three kids, a mom and a dad, that's how many people comfortably fit in a log at Disneyland. <laughs> right? You have a fourth child, you have to buy another picture. <laughs> it's like 30 bucks just for a snapshot of your toddler straddling some Russian couple. <laughs> that on my mantle. <laughs> you ever have this happen where you're at home and your phone's about to die so you plug it in while you're talking? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and her. The rest of you have done it. <laughs> Just ignore this next joke. I do that, I always forget that the cord is only 11 inches long. So for the next half hour, I end up kneeling next to a dresser. I just wanna know who designed that cord. I imagine a couple of scientists in the Verizon laboratory and one of them's like, hey, why don't we make it long enough so they can sit on the couch? And his supervisor's like, that's ridiculous. If they didn't do it before bedtime, it's their fault. Don't worry though, making this other cord stretches out to nine or 10 feet and they could only use it in their cars. Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady they sitting in the bank should be going, 